So, field event final, women's high jump. That's your lineup, the world leader, Maria Lysitskena, looking to add gold to her collection. guards performing the duties this evening and here are the athletes then in this final Camilla Litvinko the holder of the outright Polish record at 202 indoors here's the Olympic champion from Spain Ruth Betia jumping from the US of A Anika McPherson 196 this season from Lithuania, Arine Palsaite, a former world student games champion a couple of years ago. But here's the defending champion, the world leader, 206 this season, Maria Lysitskena, an overwhelming favorite in this final. But the 19-year-old world number two from the USA, Vashtai Cunningham, the world indoor champion. From Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Olympic finalist, UK champion, Morgan Lake. From the Ukraine, Yulia Levchenko, European indoor bronze medalist this year. Then from Bulgaria, the Olympic silver medalist, Mirella Demereva. 197 at her best, she popped over that last season. And then the final three from Germany, Marie Lawrence Jungfleisch, nine times the German champion. She's a two-meter jumper at her best. And then big volume in the stadium for Great Britain and Northern Ireland's Katharina Johnson-Thompson, fifth in the heptathlon. She is a one-meter 98 high jumper. And completing the lineup from the Czech Republic, the world junior champion, Michaela Haruba. So, the women's high jump final. We're up and running. The colorful McPherson of America. The opening height was one meter and 84. She passed that, went over one meter and 88, as you can see at the second time of asking. So her first attempt. Oh yes. That's good from the American. Second at the US Indoor Championships this year. Third at the US Championships. First time over one meter and 92. Palsaiti, Lithuania, first attempt at 192. A clear scorecard for all the athletes that attempted 184. As I mentioned, McPherson needed a second attempt at 188, as did Haruba from the Czech Republic. Palsaiti from Lithuania then. World Student Games champion a couple of years ago. 198 at the best. Here she goes at 192. Well, nice and lopy and smoothly over. But the world leader, Maria Lysitskaina, a Russian national, but jumping here as an authorized neutral athlete, the defending champion. Oh, yes. When you've gone over two meters and six, a lifetime best this year, 192 is nice and easy. So for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, she goes through her ritual. Morgan Lake has little word with herself. Her first attempt at one meter and 92. Olympic finalist last year, the double world champion in Eugene, Oregon, three years ago at the heptathlon and the high jump. Oh, she gives it a little rattle with her heels. But the clear scorecard, which could be vital in this women's high jump final, is kept clean. 
So four athletes so far over the height of one meter and 92. So Yulia Levchenko, the Ukrainian, first attempt at one meter and 92. European indoor bronze this year. Under 23 gold outdoors this season at those European under 23 championships, still just 19 years old. First attempt at 192. Oh, attacks it. Slightly more direct route into the bar, but the teenager improving all the time. She's gone over one meter and 97 this season. Isitz Kainer leads the world with two metres and six. She's the only athlete this year over the two-metre bar. Cunningham, the American, sits in the world two position with a height of one metre and 99. So Marela Demareva up for her first attempt. European silver last year, then Olympic silver in Rio. Her first attempt at the height. Well, it's nice and easy for the majority of the athletes, as you'd expect. Athletes that have popped over 196, 197. Three athletes at the moment will come back for a second attempt at this height. Litvinko, Beitia and Cunningham. Marie Lawrence Jungfleisch of Germany. German champion this year. Nine times the German champion if you combine her indoor and outdoor national titles. First attempt, 192. Oh, nice. So, two British athletes in this final. Next up will be Katharina Johnson-Thompson. She's just seen her training partner, Kevin Meyer, solidify his lead in the men's decathlon. So she'll be looking for a first-time clearance, the British athlete, at this height of 192. 1 metre and 98 at her best. There's no question she'll get the whole of this stadium behind her for a first attempt at 192. But her first failure of the competition, she was clear through 84 and 88. As I mentioned, fifth in the heptathlon. She didn't have a good high jump competition here in the heptathlon section. So she's going to come back have another attempt at that height. The fourth athlete at the moment due to come back for a second attempt. Heavy strapping on the left ankle. But the last athlete to take their first attempt at one meter and 92, Haruba of the Czech Republic. Well, she follows suit with Johnson Thompson. She'll have to come back for a second attempt. So Haruba will be back, along with four other athletes at this height of 192, and it will be Litvinko of Poland, first up to take her second attempt. One meters and 98 this season. That's better. Busy on the Diamond League circuit, second in Eugene, second in Stockholm, second in Lausanne. The Polish champion. Breathes a little sigh of relief. Second time over one meter and 92. So, the Olympic champion will be next, Ruth Beitier of Spain. There's the usual finger wagging from the Spanish Olympic champion. It was her fourth games last year in Rio. At the age of 37, she won the Olympic gold. Second time attempt though at 192. No. 
Well, she's a 202 jumper, but that was back 10 years ago in 2007, a 194 season's best. So she'll have one more attempt, the Olympic champion, to stay in the mix, 38 years old now. So the Olympic champion is going to have to come back for a third and final attempt. Vashti Cunningham, who jumped so well at the World Indoor Championships last year in Portland, still a junior at the end of this year. The world number two with one metre and 99. Her father and her coach. Randall Cunningham, an award-winning American footballer in a quarterback position. Sporting success continuing in the family, but Cunningham. Second attempt at 192. Well, like Baytia, it wasn't a close attempt at all for the American. Interesting this, Catherine, because Lysitz Kiner came in here as the overwhelming favourite for the gold. Cunningham, the second best jumper in the world, as you've said. And, well, it could be opening up for the Russian competing here as a neutral. But Cunningham is a great athlete. We were both in Portland when she became the world indoor champion at the age of 19. But one or two big contenders struggling with this height. Well, one of them that doesn't want to struggle anymore is Johnson Thompson, the British athlete, her second attempt at 1 meter and 92. She's gone over 1 meter and 95 this season. Oh, she gives it a rattle, but it stays on. So. Leap like a cat, cat. <laughs> oh, she got over 192 the second time of asking. Oh, she brushes it with her back, lightly with her bottom. But it stays on. She'll continue to the next height of 1 meter and 95. But still on the second attempt is Haruba of the Czech Republic. Looking for some rhythmical clapping. Former triathlete, the world junior champion, looking to stay involved at 192. No. She's one of three 19-year-olds in this women's high jump final, along with Cunningham and Levchenko. Jumped here recently at the London Diamond League and finished in fourth. So she's got one more attempt to stay in this women's high jump. So, third and final attempt, just from the fingers, you know it's Ruth Batia. The Olympic champion to stay in the women's high jump final. As I mentioned, she's gone over 194 this season. To stay involved, the Olympic champion. No, wasn't to be today for Ruth Batia. The Olympic champion, she planned to retire in August in 2012, but then changed her mind a couple of months after and then went on to win two big medals at the European Indoors and the World Championships in 2013. Then, of course, as I mentioned at the fourth time of asking the Olympic title, so coming out of retirement was a good idea, but she just didn't have it today. She had a fabulous moment in the spotlight in Rio last year after dedicating so many years of her life to high jump and always coming up short. Well, Ruth Bates here at 38, her career coming to an end. Cunningham, Catherine, just at the beginning of what could be a very long, successful career. And she'd like that success to start within the next 10 to 15 seconds. She's only got one more attempt to stay in this high jump final. She's over 1 metre and 99 this year. As we've mentioned, the second best jumper in the world, Vashti Cunningham. Oh, yes, well, showing good maturity, a cool head. <laughs> Dad and coach, relieved, she moves on to 1 metre and 95. 
She really is a talent. Already two times the US indoor champion. As I said, the US champion this year. She continues. Michaela Haruba of the Czech Republic. Looking to follow her teenage rival and get over 192. Oh, and she does well. A couple of 19-year-olds there showing some good mental strength. She too continues over 192 and up to 195. So the only athlete we've lost so far in this women's high jump final is the Olympic champion Ruth Batia. The next height will be one meter and 95. Back in the stadium, the women's high jump final. Kamila Litvinko of Poland, first athlete to attempt the new height of one meter and 95. No. Took a bronze medal at those World Indoor Championships last year. And the teenager of Ashtai Cunningham lifted the title in her home country. She shared the World Indoor title gold medal back in 2014. So she'll come back for another attempt at 1 meter and 95. Anika McPherson then of the USA. The tattoo across her chest reads, beauty is only skin deep. Equal 10th at the Olympics last year in Rio. She's one of the shortest world-class high jumpers, just 165 tall, but the speed and power that she generates. Her first attempt at 1 meter and 95, took a couple of attempts to get over 1 meter and 88, as you can see. Can she be the first clear at the new height? No, a more direct approach really does attack the bar McPherson. But she'll come back for a second attempt like Glickwinko over the height of one meter and 95. So Palsite of Lithuania, her first attempt then at one meter and 95. She's already had a season's best. She arrived in London with the best this year of 185. So she's gone over that twice with her 188 and 192 clearance. Lifetime best wise, 198 three years ago. First attempt at 195, can she be the first athlete to clear? Ooh. Well, she had the height, but came down on the bar. Well, she looked like she was going to go miles clear there, the Lithuanian. World Student Games champion a couple of years ago. Shared a silver with Demireva of Bulgaria last year in the European Championships. McPherson, by the way, snarling presence around the high jump area. She's preparing for another effort. What about this woman, Catherine? By some margin, the clear, overwhelming favourite for gold. Lysitz Kana then, her first attempt at 1 metre and 95. If you're a betting person, You'd put your money on her being the first person to clear this height, having gone over two metres and six. First attempt. Well, that's why she's here defending her title. What a beautiful clearance. She has a rank of lieutenant in the Russian Federation Central Army Sports Club. And her last loss was in June 2016. She's been absolutely dominant in the women's high jump. And that clearance 
underlining that fact. So she continues onwards and upwards. So Vashti Cunningham is hoping that she's expelled the demons of the 192 height, needed three attempts to get over the previous height. Her older brother Randall, well, Randall Cunningham the second, because her dad and coach is Randall. He's a 226 high jump for her older brother. So she's looking to keep the pressure on Lysitz Kaner here. Her first attempt at one meter and 95. Oh, well, again, she had the height, but clipped it off with the heels. This women's high jump final have got the stadium all to themselves at the moment. The male javelin throws are out at the opposite end, warming up for their final. And the women's 100 meter hurdle final is due in about 18 minutes time. Do you know what, Catherine? Shows you the difference between those who have a clean card and those who have one failure. Morgan Lake clear at 192 in second place, equal second. Johnson Thompson with one failure at 192, down in eighth. Those early failures can prove very, very costly. Always, especially at major championships, right? That's why you've got to keep your scorecard clear as long as you can. And that's what Morgan Lake's trying to do. First attempt at one metre and 95. Oh, well, clipped it with the heels. It's only one centimetre shy of a lifetime best. So a slightly better effort than some of the athletes before her, but a failure is a failure, so she'll come back again. Julia Levchenko of Ukraine. One athlete only so far over this height, Lysitz Kaner, the defending champion. First attempt, 195. Oh, a good clearance as well. Well, 197 is a lifetime best for her. I said on a previous jump, she's still improving. She really is a talent. Second at the Monaco Diamond League, that's where she jumped her personal best height of 1 meter and 97. Didn't qualify for the Rio Olympic final last year, stepping up to a World Championship final. Still only 19 as well, Catherine. We've got some real stars of the future competing here in London in this event. So, Demareva, first attempt at 195. Well, a little lean in, but a failure. It's the first height she's registered a failure at. All the way through, see that 192, season's best, equaling a season's best. No. So th three more athletes are due to have their first attempt at one meter and 95. And Jungfleisch of Germany is one of them. Equal seventh in Rio last year. Six at the World Championships two years ago. Her first attempt at 195. Oh, good clearance, a slight rattle. But just two centimetres shy now of the season's best. So, three athletes over 195. Lysitz Kaner, Levchenko, and now Young Fleisch. Can Great Britain's Katharina Johnson Thompson join the trio already over this 195 height? Would equal a season's best.
And it was a very good clearance as well. Oh. Along with Lysitz Kaner. That was a very good clearance by Katarina Johnson Thompson. And she'll move on to the next height, which will be one meters and ninety-seven. Just an interesting thing, Kath, watching the high jumpers. They have the chance after they've jumped when they walk back to look at the big screen and see how they've actually performed, see their technique. And I think that's been helping a lot of them on their second attempt at some of these heights. Well, definitely, Steve, the athletes taking advantage of the two huge screens here. Haruba. Women's high jump final continues. Likvinko, second attempt at 195. Oh, yes. Good clearance. Staying in the hunt. Pal sighted then of Lithuania. Her second attempt at one meter and 95. It's the first height she's started to have a little bit of trouble with. You mentioned earlier about her personal best. One mustn't forget that actually she did 201 indoors, of course, as well as the 198 outdoor best. So she's been there and done it. She's in a very exclusive club. Now she needs to pull that experience out with her second attempt at one meter and 95. No. So one more attempt left for her. And McPherson. They're the two athletes so far that need a third attempt at this height. And there are the athletes for the women's 100 metre hurdle final. Coming out very shortly to set up their blocks and go for glory. So Harrison there, Pearson, Harper Nelson, and from one American to another. Vashti Cunningham, her second attempt at one meter and 95. Close attempt. She's got one more to go. So the time has come to see whether Sally Pearson, the Olympic champion after horrid injuries, can win another world title. Or will one of the four Americans spoil the party, including the world record holder? But before that, Morgan Lake. Second attempt at one meter and 95. She's got the crowd behind her. A clear scorecard up until this height. Oh, yes. Well. by her teammate Johnson Thompson's wonderful clearance over the same height. That's only one centimetre shy of her lifetime best. We'll go to an American McPherson. Third attempt at 195. No, not to be for the American. She'll exit the competition. She had a first time clearance at 192. But the women's high jump final ends for Anika McPherson. Well, she looks absolutely devastated. The drive, the determination was there. Her lifetime best was 196. So she was trying to jump within a centimetre of that. Calcite then of Lithuania, her third and final attempt at one metre and 95.
season's best has been smashed. A lifetime best in 2014 of 1 meter and 98. The third attempt at 195. Well, that was the closest effort by her, but she clips it off and also exits the competition at 1 meter and 95. So Vashti Cunningham, the world indoor champion, the teenager, due to have her third attempt, as we see the disappointment of Palsaiti and her team as she exits the women's high jump competition. Third attempt by Cunningham. The second best high jumper in the world this year, looking to stay in the mix for the third attempt at 195. Well, it was the closest effort, but that's a shock because the second best athlete in the world has exited the women's high jump competition. She finishes down in 10th. Demareva, third and final attempt at 195. No. So another athlete that exited the competition here at this height. So, Haruba now tries at 1 meter and 95. We're losing a few athletes in this women's high jump final at this height of 195. We've seen Litvinko go over. Lysitz Kana go over. Morgan Lake. Haruba, last attempt. No, also clips it off with her heels. So the young 19-year-old exits the competition. So back into the high jump. Lysitz Kana, her first attempt at 1 meter and 97. A scorecard of perfection. She's had a season of perfection. If her previous attempts are anything to go by, the authorised neutral athlete, the defending champion, will pop over it with ease. She did right on cue with Cunningham gone, who was the world number two. Athletes chasing her. Remember, she's the world leader. Levchenko, first attempt at 197. Oh, yes. Well, she's the only athlete in this women's high jump final to match Lysitz Kana. Jump for jump, both have perfect scorecards. Young Fleisch of Germany. Her first attempt at 1 meter and 97. This would equal her season's best. No, she'll come back for a second attempt. So far, Lysitz Kana and Levchenko jump for jump all the way through from 184 to 197. So, young Fleisch. She's back for her second attempt at 197. The buzz around the stadium is absolutely electric. Eagerly anticipated men's 5,000. The crowd are bubbling for Mo Farah. Young Fleisch, though, trying to get over 197. Oh, well, it was a better attempt. But she's going to have one more attempt, the German. And another athlete requiring and uh, coming up for her second attempt at this height of 197 is Katarina Johnson Thompson 
the German will reset and try and stay in this women's high jump final competition. She's in bronze medal position at the moment, Jung Fleisch. She had a clear scorecard up until this height. But Johnson Thompson, second attempt at 197, currently in fourth place. She directs the crowd like a conductor with an orchestra. She wants the clapping in a certain way. Second attempt at 197. No. So she, along with Young Fleisch and Lake and Likvinko, will come back for a third attempt at 197. Litvinko, final attempt at 197 in the high jump final. Oh, yes. Well, a little bit of a rattle. One centimetre shy of a season's best. That's important. Puts her into the bronze medal position, the Polish athlete. Morgan Lake, third and final attempt at 197. To keep herself in the competition. No, not to be for the British athlete. She ends with a second time clearance at 195. Sixth position for the British athlete. So, Young Fleisch, her third attempt at 197. Currently just off the podium, the German. Oh, it was a close attempt, head in hands. She exits at 197. So, this height, we're sorting out some potential medalists here. Johnson Thompson, third attempt at 197. She's seen her teammate Lake go out at the same height to keep pressure onto the podium. Oh, not to be. So the second British athlete exits. She'll finish in fifth. Likvinko, first attempt at 199. She's in the bronze medal position. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! No wonder she's delighted. Equals a personal best. Three seasons, she's jumped 199. That could be vital. Lysitz Kaner. Can she match Litvinko and go over 199 at the first time of asking? No, she can't. That's the first failure for the world leader. So, the first X on her scorecard. Now in the silver medal position, we have our three medalists. Litvinko, Lysitz Kana, and Levchenko, but we don't know the order. In silver medal position at the moment, Levchenko, first attempt at 199. And she goes clear as well. That puts her into the gold medal position. She's had no failures from 184 all the way to 199. Litvinko in the women's high jump final. We're over the two meter mark now. Two meters and one. No. So. Litvinko, who went over 1 meter and 99 at the first time of asking. She's in the silver medal position. She'll come back if she wants at another attempt at 201. Lysitz Kaner then, passing her second attempt at 199 to put the bar up to this height. Oh! There you go. She's jumped over 206 this season. Annoyed with herself with that 199 failure. She's gone tactical. She knew getting over 199 wasn't going to help her. Levchenko now. No. So a first time failure for Levchenko. But gold medal position now then is Lysitz Kana. So at the other end of the stadium, 
Levchenko, second attempt at two metres and one. Litvinko's already failed her second attempt at 2.01. So, she comes in. Oh, yes! Ooh! Well, we've known our three medalists for a couple of heights now, but Levchenko going over 2.01 puts herself into the silver medal position. So, Litvinko... Effectively, her final attempt, she's passing at her final attempt at 2.01, 2.03. No, it's not meant to be in terms of gold for the Polish athlete, but a bronze medal for Kamila Litvinko of Poland. The 31-year-old picks up a major championship medal here in London. Slice it's Kana then, her first attempt at 2.03. She's done 2.06, let's not forget. Oh, crumbs. The class is oozing out of this athlete this evening. She's only had one failure, her first attempt at 199. No emotion, cool as you like. So can Levchenko go over the same height? No. 203 for her, though, is a huge would be a huge lifetime best she's already done that personal best of 201 she's never been over two meters before at the moment lysik skana is in the gold medal position third and final attempt for levchenko she's in the silver medal position can she stay in this high jump competition no it's not meant to be but it's a silver medal for the 19 year old she arrived with a personal best of 197 I said early in this competition, she's still improving. It's a wonderful medal, and she leaves with a personal best of two metres and one centimetre. She's in the magic two-metre club, which means that Maria Lysitskaina is the gold medal winner. She's defended her title, and now she's having a discussion about what height she wants to put the bar at. Super medals for Ukraine. So Maria Lysitskaina, she's put the bar up to two metres and eight. It would be a lifetime best performance. And it would equal the second highest jump of all time. Konstantinova's 1987 world record of 2.09. Can she equal blank of Lasic? No. Lasic jumped 2.08 in 2009. So she's looking to move herself up the all-time rankings here at these World Championships. She'll have a couple more attempts if she wants. Lysitz Kainer then, the defending champion, came and delivered. She is the world champion. Second attempt then at 2.08. No. Well, she's not really been close with her two efforts at 2.08. She has the gold medal, of course. Silver going to Levchenko of Ukraine, Bronze Litvinko of Poland, but one more attempt for Maria Lysitskaina, looking to elevate herself just one centimetre shy of the world record, which has stood for 30 years. So she has the gold medal, she's defended her title, Maria Lysitskaina, her third and final attempt at two metres and eight to equal the second highest jump in history. The stadium falls silent. No, it's not meant to be today, but the gold medal is hers. And maybe one day, the world record, she did attempt a world record of two meters and 10 when she won a meeting in Henglo earlier this year. But there's a smile that you never see in competition. But Maria Lysitskaina, an authorised neutral athlete, the Russian national coming here and dominating that women's high jump final. Wonderful jumping from the youngster Yulia Levchenko of Ukraine. She picks up the silver and Kamila Litvinko of Poland picks up the bronze.